breaking news which is coming in right now on the broadcast NIA or the National Investigation Agency takes over the Hyderabad terror case from last year where three youth were arrested for planning terror plot in the city now as per the FIR the youth were planning lone wolf attacks one of the accused has been allegedly claimed that he was recruiting youngsters on the direction of Lashkar and ISI For more inputs on this, here I'm joined by my colleague Bhavtosh. Uh, Bhavtosh, we are learning that NIA has taken over this case, and uh, last year on October 2022, the Hyderabad police had busted these three accused who were planning a terror plot in the city. But what's more to it, Bhavtosh? Over to you. Well, uh, looking into the gravity of the case and seriousness of the case, uh, the centre has, uh, in fact, given over the investigation to the federal probe agency, to the NIA, and uh, NIA uh, FIR clearly mentions that uh, it's a very serious offence because uh, one of the accused uh, had, in fact, uh, uh, antecedents uh, of uh, of. The Uh, and uh, he, in fact, uh, was the one who was given the task to uh, hire uh, youngsters. And uh, his handlers, in fact, uh, belong to ISI and uh, Lashkar-e Toiba. Remember, in October 2022, uh, the Hyderabad police uh, and uh, other agencies had busted a, a module. in which uh, they had arrested three persons uh, recovered huge amount of uh, explosives grenades and uh, it was said that uh, these uh, this module was planning to carry out uh, terror activities in uh, hyderabad Now, the ifir also mentions that uh, the idea was to carry out terror activities and terror acts uh, in hyderabad and also more importantly a lone wolf attack now this is a very serious uh, offense and a serious uh, incident, uh, serious uh, activity that was being planned by this module and uh, looking into all these uh, facts uh, it was decided to hand over the entire investigation to nia and nia has registered a case under uh, various sections of uh, uap which is anti terror law in custody their custody will be taken very soon all right bhavtosh i appreciate you joining us live with all those important details in this case so as Uh, said by my colleague Bhavtosh and rightly pointed out that looking into the seriousness of this case, now the National Investigation Agency has taken over this case where three youth were arrested for planning and plotting terror in the city of Hyderabad. And also, there have been collections, uh, there have been connections and directions related to Lashkar-e Toiba and ISI. But for more inputs on this, here again, I'm joined by my colleague Shomit on the phone line. Shomit, oh, we are learning that uh, the NIA has taken this case right now and is probing into the matter where three youths were arrested by the Hyderabad Police in October 2022. And uh, as rightly pointed out by Bhavtosh, that looking into the seriousness of this matter uh, and the uh, relation with Lashkar-e Toiba and ISI. ISI the NIA is right now probing into it but what's more to it over to you Shamit Well you know uh, Abdul Zahid is, a, is also known as well known you know actually uh, he was accused in the terror blast case in the Hyderabad city in 2005 which which happened in you no know, just uh, uh you know opposite to our ta- you know task force office uh, task force police office uh, you know uh, this blast took place and uh, later you know they were also planning a lone wolf wolf attacks in the hyderabad city they have uh, you know uh, targeted few uh, you know crowded places and also few bjp leaders and rss leaders rss you know followers are also part of that and uh, now you know uh, now the case has been handed over to the uh, nia has taken the case into the you know uh, into their hand over and they are probing into the matter at that time the hyderabad city police has also mentioned that this terrorist zahir has planned to hurl grenades at bjp rss meetings processions and also hindu festive gatherings in view of dasara just be, you know uh, just before dasara you know this has happened so basically you know zahir also received funds from terrorist organizations Uh, to carry out terror activities this is what stated by the police and zahid received grenades consignment from pakistan and uh, you know this zahid has recruited several youths by you know uh, by name maz samir right. and adil afroz abdul hai soil qureshi and uh, abdul kalim and also others and uh, uh, police are probing into this matter and the charge was also filed and now nia has taken over the investigation into this matter All right Shamit thank you so much for joining us live with all those inputs